Why should Ontario patient transfer workers join a union? Um, I think everyone should have a union in the workplace. Um, but having a union in the workplace, uh, you have the right to professional union representation. And uh, not a, no matter what the reasons are, no matter what the issues are in the workplace, the workers now have the right to bring those issues to the table and bargain them collectively with the employer in fairness and in good faith. One of the key issues for these people that are looking for a union is a collective agreement. Most people, unless they belong to a union, aren't aware of what one is. How vital is it to have a collective agreement for, for uh, people in this field? It's very, very important that uh, you understand, like workers understand what the collective agreement is and uh, what are the benefits of the collective agreement. Um, a collective agreement is actually a signed uh, legal document which is signed by the employer and the union that guarantees the protection of your terms and conditions of employment in the workplace. Now, <coughs> collective agreement covers a wide range of, of, of uh, issues and, and, and uh, events for, 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 the, uh, for the employee. If there is one that stands out among all others, what would it be? Um, you know, apart from uh, having competitive wages and benefits, there is also um, a grievance procedure that is present in the collective agreement. So the worker now have a right to file a grievance, which could potentially lead up to arbitration. And grievances addresses and uh, you know deals with issues such as uh, uh, favoritism and fairness, unfairness on the job. Uh, health and safety is a big issue. Wrongful dismissal. Um, you know, it, it goes on and on, and these are all like really uh, uh, great concerns that wor that face workers on a daily basis. Patient transfer employees. It's a rather unique industry. Just are, are, are we breaking new ground here? Just how how, how uh, unique is it? Oh, definitely. It's a, I would say it's a unique industry. It's um, it's a fairly new industry. Um, uh, you, you know, these employees that uh, that work there, uh, they also uh, you know have 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 huge issues. Uh, such as health and safety, um, you know, uh, wages are a big issue, benefits, and uh, you know, the list goes on and on. But uh, I think we should try and set some kind of a standard in this uh, in this in this industry, where employees uh, who are working there, uh, you know, their their wages reflect what they work, like the work that they do, you know, in in terms of uh, comparing them to the uh, to the real EMS uh, workers. All right. One of the things when you talk about EMS and, uh, and, and emergency medical services, patient transfer workers, they all run into the same health and safety issues on this job. Just how much of a concern is that to, uh, to, to uh, patient transfer employees? Yeah, I think it's a great concern because you know the risks are very high. Uh, you know, they, they, they face this uh, uh, very um, you know challenge every day where they have to transfer patients from a, from a hospital to a nursing home or from a from a nursing home to a you know to a, a a medical facility. Um, these workers are faced with uh, tremendous risks. You know, they can uh, they can be from airborne diseases. They can be from you know um, illnesses, uh, respiratory illnesses, uh, which are very contagious. And the wages that they are making does not reflect the work that they do. Now, how how much how receptive are employers when some of these concerns are brought forward? Um, so far, I know it's basically been falling deaf ears. Uh, you know, these employers have been uh, you know using. Uh, um, these employees, uh, you know, as, uh, of course, most of these employees that work there are, are, are going to go on to become, uh, you know, police officers or firefighters or, uh, or um, you know, uh, uh, medical uh, medical workers, uh, like paramedics and stuff like that. So um, basically, uh, the employer is, you know, have an advantage in that sense that, you know, he, he, knowing that the fact that, you know, the worker, these 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 are all students and they will move on, um, he's using that to his advantage in terms of uh, you know uh, not paying uh, proper wages and, and taking care of the employees and treating them fairly. If we are able to bring up the standards as a goal, do you think it would change people's perspective on this and it would become a career as opposed to a stepping off point? Definitely. Um, you know, uh, I think you know, in becoming a firefighter, a police officer, or a, or a paramedic, it, it's not something that happens overnight. It's, it's a pretty uh, long, drawn-out process. And, and by the time you get there, you still need a job. So uh, I think if we can make it competitive enough, and uh, you know, um, in terms of health and safety, and, and we can make the job attractive enough, uh, the industry will become uh, one that will be very competitive, and a lot of employees will um, eventually uh, work there longer.